Genesis and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So it looks like the Floyd Mayweather versus Errol Spence sparring session has resurfaced, at least the conversation of what took place. For years and years and years, we've heard talks of Errol Spence getting the best of Floyd Mayweather, giving him a black eye, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But Nate Jones just recently came out and he said that Floyd Mayweather, he buckled Errol Spence and really hurt him bad and said that he was basically saved by the bell. Uh, Gordon, I mean, Errol Spence, and Floyd Mayweather sparring session. It was very intense. And Earl at the time was trying to prove himself he was a dominant force in boxing. And Mayweather was, you know, on his last two legs out the game is selling some more money. And and so the, um, one of the fights that Floyd had scheduled, we used Earl, Earl Spence as a sparring partner, one of the southpaw fights that Floyd had. I don't know which, I don't remember which fight it was, but, um, Earl was giving Floyd some good work, man, and, and you know, it was some intense moments. He was giving Floyd some good, clean shots. But Floyd, but Floyd had been a veteran, smart. Floyd knew what he was doing. He never hurt Floyd. He got Floyd attention, though. I've seen him, you know, give Floyd attention, but he never rattled Floyd like Floyd rattled him one day. And um, a lot of people, a lot of people was going around saying that Floyd was getting his butt whooped in spot. Floyd was handling him well, but Floyd was what well, Floyd was doing that. I had to tell him. To stop doing one day, I went off. I jumped I jumped on top of the ring and I went off on Floyd. In front of everybody, and I went off on him, but I just went on, I went crazy. I said, Floyd, why are you jumping back so big in this dude? You, you, you build this confidence up. You're making all these big moves by moving back real big and throwing your feet. Don't quit making yeah, them big now, moves. Now you feel quit like making big back moves, setting them back. That quit, when, you make, when, when you make a miss, that, you're doing it so big that you can't respond. You can't deal with him like that. Calm down, stay in the middle, and stay and, and stay relaxed. I said, start shooting some shit up the middle, man, because he, he's inside open. Man, Floyd boxed in the second round. I said, calm down. So I said, Floyd, when you get in the middle, when, when you sit down, that motherfucker every now and then sit down and run some of the middle. Floyd hit that motherfucker with an uppercut and hurt him. Floyd almost knocked him out. Everybody talks saying this, that, and the dirt about. In training camp, nobody ever seen Floyd run, ride on the training camp or buckle. We, I've seen Earl Spence buckle from Floyd Mayweather. Floyd never buckled that night, but he gave Floyd, I mean, Floyd never buckled in a sparring session, but Earl gave him some of the best work I've ever seen. And I know that's why I know that Floyd wouldn't say me now as the top sparring he ever had in boxing, after the top boxing, at the top, top, top sparring he ever had. I think now he will put, um, Earl Spence above me because Earl was giving him some good work. But that day I went off and I jumped on the, the ring and I went crazy. And I told Floyd to calm down and, and, and stay small and stay up the middle. I was just coming the middle up and some, some shots up the middle. Playing him with uppercut and buckling him. And I, and I jumped on him. I said, yeah, nigga, you was knocked out. I'm like, Floyd had him knocked out the bell ring. I said, Floyd, you had that motherfucking night. You know what I'm saying? Floyd, calm down. And once Floyd started calming down and started doing differently, the work got better. But he gave, Earl Spence gave Floyd some of the best work I've ever seen. He hit Floyd with some good clean shots and Floyd handled him very well. He never buckled Floyd, but Floyd buckled Earl Smith. And I, I, I put it on my, on my life. He buckled Earl Smith with uppercut right to the middle. And, you know, it was good work, though, and Floyd needed that. And, we, you know, and, 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 and it built Floyd, it, it built Floyd, it built Earl Smith's confidence. He became real, he had real confidence that he can give Floyd some good work. And it made him, it put him on a pedestal that knew he was a bad man, which he was. But, you know, and it's, you know, but that that night, that day, before he went up and coming and him, and I and I jumped up and I said, "Yeah, now now how you feel about that? Go back and tell everybody that before he buckled you. Go back and tell everybody that he said Nate, he said Nate, you. He said I, he said he said he said this to me. He said Nate, he said I knew you kissed ass. I knew you suck. And I I jumped into the ring after the jumping ring, come at him, and Floyd Gray he said Nate, no, don't you're not gonna do that, Nate. Stop. And I stopped and I said, you know what? I didn't say nothing, and everything we they left. We left. Everything was cool. He, he, we hugged each other after 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 we got out the ring. We shook each other's hand, and, and we was cool. But yeah, he said that crazy shit to me, but it was okay. I didn't take because I be I be saying shit for Floyd. You know what I'm saying? Edge and old spawn upon the saying shit. So he he threw the shit back at me, and I accepted. I want to. Okay, so that was Nate Jones's take on the sparring session. 
You know, as soon as Nate Jones did this interview, I was told right away that Nate Jones came out and he said that, you know, Floyd Mayweather, he buckled Errol Spence. When I first heard it, because I didn't actually hear Nate Jones go into detail, I was saying, OK, well, that can just be some exaggerated, you know, stuff or whatever. But after you hear Nate Jones go into complete detail, it's a little bit different. Now, Errol Spence actually responded. He reacted to what Nate Jones said, and he said Boza Edwards, so Q Powell, countless other boxers and coaches, was in the gym. I tried not to speak on sparring, but great work, hell of an experience. Never buckled. He capped. LOL. So that was Errol Spence's take on the situation. Naturally, he said that never happened. And he also said, I try not to speak on sparring. Regardless of what took place in that sparring session, the most important thing Errol Spence, he got the great experience working with Floyd Mayweather. And regardless if he got hurt or not, it never affected his career. That's the most important thing. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. My name is Chris and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at Scalp Carolinas and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up and I saw one for SMP and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after and I was looking at that and, it, you know, it caught my attention so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? And, uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole, whole treatment, we talked and, you know, about our families and our life and, you know, and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. When you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina, Scout Carolinas, to get this done.